Welcome back to our conversation with Steve Hoffman. He's the chairman of the Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission. Of course, Legal Pod is headed our way uh, later on this summer. Now, Steve, under the proposed regulations, there would be a variety of ways you could buy pot, not just from dispensaries, but delivery services that are actually already operating, like, you know, buy a $50 right. uh, bottle of juice and you get a little gift. Yes. Movie theaters, restaurants, yoga studios, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, the, if you will, the dispensary lobby claims that would be unprecedented mm -hmm. in the realm of legal marijuana in the U.S. and might attract the attention of the feds unduly. Mm -hmm. Others are claiming uh, that it's the the dispensaries just want to limit competition sure. and have this sort of quote unquote monopoly, mm -hmm. and that that would drive up prices. Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate those arguments? Uh, they're, they're they're compelling arguments on both sides. Yeah. Um, we listen. Um, we, 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 we take everything we're hearing from all sides um, under consideration. Um, I will tell you that. Um, all of the things that we decided in terms of our draft regulations, we decided in public. So people understand the debate we had, know, you know what the commissioners had to say and how we tried to make those decisions. I will tell you that I don't remember us ever talking about whether we were going too far or not far enough or too fast. We're trying to do this right. And we're trying to honor the will of the voters by making this accessible, but making sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to enhance public health and public safety and using our best judgment and listening to input from all parties. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but the ballot question didn't mention the diversity of venues to buy. Uh, it, did did it? Say, it did say that we had to come up with, um, with regulations with respect to social consumption. It did not say okay. what those policies so or regulations should be, but so it said we had to define regulations in that area. So how did this, what is apparently a fairly unique framework among pot legal yeah, there's, pot there's, 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 there's How did that come to be? Um, well, a couple things. One is that part of the legislation is that there was a 25-person um, cannabis advisory board appointed actually before us by the governor, the attorney general, and the, uh, and the treasurer, and they made recommendations to the commission about regulations. So, so you know, we, we listened to them and used that as kind of the starting point in terms of, uh, of, of the um, regulation setting process, draft regulation setting process. Um, I will tell you that, you know, we're using metaphors. We're using other states, um, but I also think alcohol Alcohol is, is a really good metaphor in that it's legal, um, it can be used safely by adults, but if it's overused, it's a problem. If it's, you know, you've got to keep it out of the hands of, of, of underage people. I think that, you know, there's a metaphor here and, you know, safe social consumption is allowed in alcohol and we're trying to make sure that we allow for very safe, regulated social consumption for cannabis. Wow. Well, our time is up. There's so much I wanted to get to that we didn't have time to. Would you be willing to come back here every few months, mm -hmm. do this, give us an update, and keep people posted on the progress of this as it unfolds? Absolutely. I think it's a very important part of our role to make sure the public's informed about what's going to happen and how we're, we're thinking through the decision we're making. Yeah. So anytime you invite me, I'll be Look back. forward to having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Steve Hoffman, chairman of the Massachusetts Cannabis Control go Pats. Commission. <laughs> yes, go Pats indeed. That's it for us. Now back to my colleagues for more WBC News. Go Pats.